Hello, everyone who is also watching the recording. Today we have a colorful task. So as you can notice, we have um, not only cow that is very colorful, we have also other things in this landscape that are not that usual. So we have some usual stuff like green tree, green grass, but then there are also some yellow clouds or green, uh, pinky fields, pinky tree. So this is a bit our story. We try to um, combine colors. So the painting looks colorful and it doesn't matter if we invent. Yeah, we say, okay, this is usually green, but we do it uh, orange, no? So yeah, let's try how it goes. So as usually, um, I have acrylic paints, palette, brushes. But of course, we start with uh, pencil. Yeah, we need to sketch our idea. Um, and I suggest we start with the cow and then we add the rest. Yeah. So you take your pencil and first you move it kind of in the air and you try to feel okay, how big is my cow? Is it tiny? Does it take the whole page? How high it is? No, like not rushing, but feeling. And then we start with the head. We're going to start with the upper part of the head. Actually, I'm, a bit, I'm going to try to make the cow bigger this time than it is here. So I'm doing here, like this will be the, the top part of, um, of the head. Yeah, so beyond, it's going to be like the, the ears, the horns. And then I leave a bit space because later I'm going to add ears. And here I'm going to add just like two lines uh, outside. Mm -hmm. And then the big like half circle is coming in. Yeah. A bit, maybe a bit more nicer than I've managed to do the first time. Yeah, so, and this will be our head. So it's not just like oval, it's still a bit different. Feel free already to add some ears. Okay. Let it some ears. Uh, and the cow also has some like horns. Yeah, then we can also invent what color are they. Nice. Um, I say we move to the body, then we move to the face. So let's check. The body is kind of this a bit curvy line, so the back goes a bit in, then the line goes up for the paw, and then we go down for the belly, yeah? So also try to feel how big is the size of the body, so somewhere like here behind the ear, you know, kind of starting, go a bit down, and it, okay, maybe my cow is too long, make it a bit, a bit short. Yeah. So the end goes like down to the leg. And at the bottom, actually, we can make like all of the belly. And then we connect also the legs. Yeah. So the legs that is closer to us, we see them. So they're kind of going in in the body. And then there will be the legs behind.
yeah and the legs behind very similar to the front ones we just see kind of the half let's say the the cow will be standing with the And then, of course, we're missing we're missing the part where the milk comes out. We're missing the tail, and of course, all the eyes and uh, the stuff. Um, the milk part is easy. Again, just half circle, and then we have like the the part is going. Yeah, then we have the tail. Okay, ready for the face? Yeah, very nice. Judith showing me thumbs up. Thank you. So, I always. Because, like, I saw, like, how you did the nostrils and stuff. I just, and I did a mouth. I did different types of eyes. And I'm going to do another cow because I accidentally drew my cow too small. And I don't want to erase all of it. Ooh, do two cows. That's what I'm going to do. Nice one. Ooh, I'm already excited to see how Ellie's painting will turn out. So, and to finish the face. So, I find this part very sweet. So, it's kind of the half circle going up the direction and it makes kind of the face more yeah so this is just all i did just going this this line a bit up and then it's already feels a bit more curvy um here i can make like uh, maybe not necessarily just the eyes let's say the eyes also we can make get bigger so we can we have more space for it to play and you remember the story that we control where the cow is looking so if i want let's say to cow to look up to the corner so that's this is where i place those white things yeah and then around the make black and now my cow is looking like okay something is happening they're up and she's like checking yeah. and then of course also like the smile matters it's okay so i do two little ones for the noses and then so the mood yeah you create with the smile if it goes up or down or it's neutral yeah. and this is one like i did like hmm, the cow is like thoughtful or you know like looking and thinking Um, and then, of course, you can do the spots. The spots easy. 
um maybe also try do them different size like here first i made them almost all one size and then try to make some more little ones so maybe just from the start yeah you can do like bigger spots and maybe some small ones around And again, some some of them more close one to another, some are more separated. Yeah, then later we decide what colors we do. Yeah, so um, adjust your cow. Yeah, correct. So you're happy with it. And then we do uh, the rest. The rest will be, so we're going the land, we're doing the landscape. Um, yeah, but I wait for you to continue the landscapes. So Ellie's drawing a second cow. That's nice. Now I drew my second cow really nice. small. <laughs> but so, so and now like there's a space on the left that I have to fill. So I'm gonna draw another little tiny cow quickly. <gasps> so it's gonna be three of them. Yeah, two babies and then the mom. All right. Okay, then uh take your time, do the mama cow. Now we're gonna uh wait. No problem. Juliet, you have only one cow? Yeah, just one. <laughs> well, Ellie has three, so we, um, we wait for her to do all of that. No problem.
say I'm done. Nice. Great. So the next steps would be to do the landscape. And we start with the hills. So basically, it's just like curvy lines. The only thing you need to follow that the first one is a bit bigger because it's closer to us. And the ones in the back, they're like just more narrow. Yeah, but in general, like curvy line and then the other ones. Yeah, so like we can make one big that goes maybe a, a bit here, like under the cow's face or you check, of course, where all your cows are standing. But like first one is big. And then we do the, the rest. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, so maybe one is coming somewhere here. And then we can have. Yeah, so all, all the other ones, they are. much more narrow. Oh, I did something like this. Nice, ready with the lines of the hills. So the rest, again, you can choose how you want. So you can choose how many trees you have. For example, putting little house is also this trick to show that something is more far away because we know that the trees and the house is bigger than the cow, but we put it here on one of the hills tiny and it gives us this 3D dimension. Yeah, so, so I think I'll keep the house. Uh, also maybe like, okay, let's tell me I put it on this hill here. Yeah, so just kind of almost like a triangle with the, um, Let's say with a big door so the cow can get in. Yeah, and then we can have some also trees there. Yeah, maybe also the, the path. So this is another trick with the path. It helps us to show that um, something is more far away. So let's say for the house, I make like tiny one and here let's say it's already getting like wider huh? so like this also with these path lines I show the Yeah, and we follow this rule to show that uh, something is far away, something is closer to us. So by using the size, so then let's say if I'm uh, doing a tree here, the tree is big, maybe it's not even entering my paper. This is also, also a good way, you know, to show something is like, you see just, part of it and then the viewer assumes uh, it is uh, behind yeah so then here and I'm kind of not finishing the tree I'm doing it yeah. and then if I do the next three smaller then we get the feeling that but like smaller also the trunk 
Yeah, and the crown. Yeah, so here I did like a bigger tree and a smaller. Yeah, and the rest you can explore. So here I had like little chicken sitting on top of the ha uh, cow. I have a butterfly. Yeah, yes, if you want, you can also, well, if it just makes more, I don't know, sweet or. And the butterfly is easy, just like the the middle line, and then we do go to the sides. Upper wings are bigger. The wings that are the bottom they are smaller. And so let's say we we put some friends for car. Um, so I would say maybe some bushes are missing, but again, you can choose if you want them. The all the, the big grass we do straight with a brush. Yeah. So no need to, um, draw it with pencil. Uh, the clouds actually maybe also, well, you can plan if you want with pencil, but I always don't like how the pencil then shows you know, um, through the light paint. So I'm just gonna skip this part. I'm gonna do the clouds, but without the pencil drawing. And more or less that's it. Ah, here is also the fans. If you want, if you like fans there. Yeah, and again, if you do the bushes, closer ones are bigger. If we go more far away, they get smaller. Okay, I'm going to put maybe some bushes, otherwise it's a bit... Mm -hmm. Kind of. It's, the bush is also good like to, to hide a bit the bottom of the tree. So if you're not sure, like, it doesn't look like really connected, then it's also there. Yeah, and putting bushes is also good to break a bit the line of, of the hills. So we just kind of...
we did a thing where like, cause I drew a pond and then I think you had the idea to like have. I can't draw them down far away. She had the idea to have it like there's a path and it like it leads to a pond and in her picture there's a pond which is where my cows are. Hmm. Cool. Great ideas, girls. I love a day with the pond. Now I'm thinking where I should add the pond on my face. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, I say we are like slowly finishing the pencil part. Do all the touch-ups we want. Yeah, and then we're going to start it with the paints. And I say, so as my suggestion is, we do as clean and colorful as we can. So we take just like clean colors. So you see, so even maybe my yellow here got a bit more dark, yeah, but we try to do um, so it's like all bright and um, yeah, so but of course then some uh, some yellow we will need. I think actually like almost all of them. And then pink, you remember, it's red with white. Yeah, and then light blue. So well, basically I'm starting taking like all my light colors first and then we're gonna add some darker ones once we feel the painting needs it and i suggest we start doing our usual way let's say we put everything that is light as a base color so let's say this this grass here light green we put it light green some uh light pink fields, some light yellow for fields and clouds. And the, I suggest we keep the cow for the end. So once you have everything done, then you can feel kind of what color your cow is the best, you know? So let's try to do, let's do also like the, um, the sky. And then we're gonna do with details and the cow. Yeah, so first we, we take a bigger brush and we just go doing all the base colors. Yeah, so it's all kind of all our pages colored. So let's say here I'm taking light green. I also like mixing green with yellow. Then it gets a bit more... Um, like sunshine here. And um, so we remember that acrylics, they can work both as um, oil paints or watercolors. So when I'm taking more water, they become more transparent. So here I've mixed a very nice green color. I've just took green and yellow. So it's like very bright. And I'm just going to go and do the, Yeah, and since I'm taking more water, the paint is more, yeah, it's more transparent.
Yeah, so I, have, I did this very bright green field. And I do some green trees, so. Okay, this frontal big three, I also gonna do green. So I can actually also see some light green there and then it will be easier to, to reach to put the, the dark green there and then we do the spots. So this was my first color set. Um, I'm thinking maybe the sky is also good to do. Uh, sky, we, we can also keep either traditional blue. Yeah, so you can also you take a look at this picture and you imagine, okay, what? well, actually, if I make the sky pink, actually, I'm going to try it. Instead of blue sky, I'm going to make a pink sky. And then maybe instead of some pink fields, I'm going to do blue fields. Hmm? Why not? Art is an experiment. Some pink, pink, pink. So for pink, I need very little red and a bigger amount of white. Then I clean well my brush. It's also important not to forget. And then I can mix. All right, ah, the clouds. Um, okay, anyway, okay, I'm going to try to... So since I didn't want to draw clouds with pencil because I don't, don't like the pencil showing through, I'm going to try now to do the pens, uh, the clouds just going around with the... something like this and then the rest Yeah, and if you take like the color is white, so let's say I'm taking light pink, it still can look even somehow a bit natural, even if one says, no, it's like so much pink in the sky. Like we have sometimes pink when it's sunset, but um, but here the pink is taking like as a basic color of sky. Yeah, and remember if like the, the parts where you know it's gonna be dark, let's say the, um, the trunk of the tree. So you can easily go over there with your yellowish or pinkish, because it's gonna be the okay. Oh, I like it. My sky is pink now. So I'm going to go for um, some bluish as well. Yeah, but you see, I still, I don't take very, very dark colors.
Right. So I'm gonna give one one minute for it to dry. No rush. I'm very excited to see how your ones will show. I really like when you girls invent your own stories about what's going on in the paint. Okay, I'm taking blue for my fields. Why not? So remember, we're going colorful and unusual. Uh, you can still put some color as usual. So some bushes green, some trees green, but some of them, or maybe everything can also be unusual. And see how it's... Yeah. And we keep cow white, like we're going to paint it in the end. Because like once we have everything... painting then it will be easier to decide you know then you will see okay is uh, the light color is matching well or actually dark is matching well Okay, I'm taking yellow as well. Yeah, maybe like even orange. Yeah, and my like painting still looks pale because I'm taking pretty much watery all the colors. But later I'm gonna be adding the intensity. Like for the path, you can also invent some unusual color. And then some parts you can straight away you can take them bright. Yeah. So this is the the contrast thing, like um something uh so we did this pale stuff, and now I take Less water, a bit more just the paint. So let's say it, it did the bright house there. And later, if I find it, ah, it's a bit too bright, I can always, you know, adjust it.
Yeah, so slowly you start taking more darker tones. I'm taking my favorite emerald green. So everything is colorful, but some things are lighter and some things are more brighter. Yeah, and this is called tone. Yeah, you can't do everything the same light and the same dark. Because then and then it would be not. Um... Slowly, slowly, I'm taking some colors. I'm not afraid to go with the wrong color because I remember acrylics, I can correct. You know? Unless, of course, you really want to do very light, but you had prior there, you had a darker color than Mm. Then you need to put white first, and then on top the color you want. So I'm mixing lots of blue and green today. Oh, a bit in the mood. Mm, and now it's a good thing to decide what color I want to do the, um, the clouds. Maybe actually light green could be cool. Why not? Everyone says there is no green in the sky. Let's make green in the sky. Yeah, but keeping colors light. So um, Yeah, and for the clouds, again, I'm going to do a bit more water to my brush. Yeah, so I want them to be a bit more transparent. And then if I feel to, I'm going to add some shadows. And of course, always careful mixing colors. So if there is red, you remember, red and green, they look good together when they're just one next to another but uh, but not when they're mixed huh? so um So just having fun doing all the powerful parts. Yeah, did some shadows on the clouds, so they look also a bit more. Yeah, to do the gr um, the grass at the bottom, 
then you also just go from down to up yeah, and you kind of Yeah, and I can also cover a bit my cow with the grass. It's okay. It looks even nicer. So it's like the feeling, there is more feeling. So something is in front, it's the grass. And um, ooh, now I have still let the trunks of the trees, maybe. I do them. Let's check. Maybe it doesn't also look nice. And like this, slowly, slowly, you're coming to the cow, you know, like when almost everything is done. And then you can decide what to do with the car. So, uh, cow. If you leave it like white and do the colorful spots, or maybe the cow itself is going to be also other color. But um, I suggest you leave it white. And actually, even in this painting, I went first a bit bluish, so I made my cow blue. But then it wasn't that, you know contrasting on the painting it was like everything colorful so you couldn't see the cow so just to leave the kite white you can take the paint and actually put also the paint on white paper um and then you put colorful spots on top mm -hmm. But before you're going to wipe, always clean, clean well your brush. Wipe it with also paper towel. So it's... Um, so you don't take other color there. So for the cow first, I'm like putting white paint on top. And I understand someone would say like, ah, the, the paper is white, why I should put white paint. But actually, once you're going to start putting colors there, and if your white is not still yet too dry, you will feel how actually it goes nicer inside. It goes like a bit, because uh -huh. it's going to be mixing with white. So it doesn't, it's not going to have like the 
sharp, sharp borders. It's gonna have more. I'm slowly starting doing the spots. I try to keep my cow clean and I, I wash carefully my brush. And here, like the spots, it's not more that I'm like, I'm just sitting the, the paint on top. Slowly, slowly, I can also decide maybe what eye colors put. And it's actually not that easy when one thinks, ah, oh, just put different colors. But for them to look good, um, you still, you need to like take time to think which one yes, which one no. Yeah, and this is also a bit about the abstract art that sometimes people think, ah, that's so easy. Anyone can do it. But um, when you start doing it, you realize it's not that simple. And also, if you do something like by accident too dark, remember you can always. So if you're quick, you're taking it out with your paper towel. If not, you just let it dry and you go on top with um, white color, no white paint.
And there is another trick to make the cow stand out. It's also to make a bit darker around her. Yeah, so if you have a green ferret, you can put a bit more. Green is just around the corner of the, of the cow. Somehow I feel your painting is going to turn much more fun than mine. And don't forget to do some accents, like maybe the eyes color of the color. And when you're doing details, be careful. The, the most important rule is to check it's not too wet. Because otherwise, all the details are like kind of floating. Yeah, so when I do details, I want the stuff to be dry.
I'm excited to see how your cows are going. <laughs> Yeah, so don't forget putting the contrast. If you did, let's say, a tree light blue, you can put there some darker touch-ups. Add it. Okay, I'm experimenting now with the contour. I think it feels nice. I think I'm gonna, ah, I forgot the chicken. Almost ready, taking off the tape. Looking forward to see.
Yeah, a bit different mood than on my first painting. The first painting looked more sunshinier. Um, I'll show it now so we can compare. I'm going to take off the tape. Bed. I like it. Still feels happy. And we can compare the previous and the new one. Yeah, different modes, different colors. Girls, what do you think about these two paintings? Um, the second one, it's like bolder on the cow. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. So I took off the tape, but still I can maybe just something. Yeah, I don't really want to put nothing on the grass. No, I think I'm not fine. So these are my two paintings. Nice. I'm going to wait for you girls to finish. And then we can share the results.